what you just got in the post. Don't you love getting things in the post? We are so excited. What just happened? What this is? Let me explain quickly. Um, I am the convener for the March Against Monsanto in Eastern Cape. And one of my wonderful marshals was clever enough to tell Living Seeds about our march. Living Seeds is the heirloom organic seed company that I buy my seeds from. And she, the marshal that I'm telling you about, also buys her seeds from. And she told them about the march that we're having. At our march, we are doing seed swaps. Everyone's bringing their own organic seeds. And we're going to swap the seeds with each other. And we're going to have organic food available and we're going to be talking about permaculture and all the solutions for the problems that Monsanto has caused. So what Living Seeds did was they offered to give everybody who comes to our march a free packet of organic heirloom living seeds. So that's what this is. And I'm gonna open it now. Because it's like Christmas this week. Can we see that? It's carved out of soap. It's a warthog. Top ring. Tree. And quit five children. Don't get Christmas presents. Well, we get cars. Exactly. Christmas is not about Christmas presents. Slowly. Okay, what have we got? Magazines. Let's show them one at a time. Look. This is the Living Seeds magazine with all their stuff. <gasps> this is like, oh my word, this is so nice to have. And it feels all recycled. And... Okay, so these are the mags. <gasps> Look. Say no to GMO. Check it out. Say no to GMO. <laughs> they even went... It says this seed is the 100% natural alternative to genetically infected seed. Say no to GMO. They even went on, to, on an effort to put this on. How cool are they? And everyone who comes to our march is going to get some free seeds from living seeds. Oh my word. I love it. Oh, look how many they are. Just come look. Can you see? And they put a stick on every single one. I love you. Say no to GMO. This is the 100% natural alternative to genetically infected seed. Genetically infected seed. <laughs> cool, eh? Um, and they're going to be people talking on um, permaculture. We've got a permaculture guru who's coming. He does. He runs the Tri Ecosystems and works with the Calabash Trust. I'm going to interview him, and you're going to meet him. And we've got a philosopher who um, lives a sustainable life. I'm going to take you to his farm. He's also one of our marshals. And um, we've got someone, actually, the girl who organized that, her name's Emma, she um, is going to talk on busting the myths of GMO. And such cool people there. We've got Ruth, the kid activist who slammed Monsanto at the Sci Faced Africa, who happens to be one of my offspring. She keeps <laughs> us all in check. <laughs> she keeps us all in check with regards to palm oil. GMO. She's like the the child to reckon with. And we're going to have the teens. The teens are going to have their say. The guerrilla gardeners are going to be there. They're going to be talking about the seed freedom movement. And we're going to have musicians who are written songs about Monsanto and GMO. It's going to be so great. So it's not going to just be the problems. It's going to be the solutions. We're going to have, we're going to give them the problem, tell them what
what the problem is, and then we're going to supply solutions. And these, my brother and sisters, organic seeds are one of the solutions. Thanks, Living Seeds. You guys rock. If you ever, just while we're here, and what Joey's doing is he's carving something out of soap. So if you ever want something for your kids to carve that is cheap and fun, then get them some sunlight soap. Let me just show you quick sticks. Where's Ruthie? <laughs> Ruthie made a cat out of soap. And I made a random thing. Let's see, look, all you do is you get something sharp, and it doesn't even have to be that sharp. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just slice it so nicely, and it's so cheap. It's really, really cheap to buy. And they can just carve a nice pattern out of it. Oh, it's so cool. Hey, Ru, is it fun? Yep. <laughs> so if you want something fun for your kids to do that's not expensive and that you can reuse afterwards, because we use this, we like grind it up and use it for our washing powder sometimes, then that's a cool solution. Two stories in one. Cut, 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 cut.